hero. It was a beautiful summer's day on Sodor. Thomas was enjoying the quiet sunshine when suddenly, all over the island, there was not a moment's peace. It could only mean one thing. Spencer had arrived. Thomas told Spencer he didn't need to be so loud. But Spencer just laughed and said only slow engines were quiet. He challenged Thomas to a race, starting from the shunting yard. Help Thomas travel to the shunting yard. Go! Use the Wii Remote to make the engine go faster. Use the Wii Remote to make... Pull down on the Wii Remote to blow the whistle. Thomas and Spencer were loaded with heavy trucks. When they were both ready, the race began. Can you help Thomas beat Spencer? Three, two, one, go! No, Thomas's brakes had broken. Faster and faster he went, into a flat bed of jammy crates. On and on he goes, onto an old overgrown track. Finally he stopped, covered in muck, branches and sticky jam. Then he heard a voice. It was an old and rusty engine he'd never seen before. His name was Hero. His home was an island far away, where they called him Master of the Railway. He had come to Sodor a long time ago, but had broken down and been left on this line and forgotten. He was worried that if the fat controller found him broken down, he would be sent to the smelter's yard. Thomas promised his new friend that he would find parts and make him a really useful engine again. So Thomas returned to the steamworks to get fixed and cleaned up. Wash. Spray. Dry. Great work. That night, Thomas told the other engines about his new friend. They all agreed to help Hero. At the steamworks, Thomas saw an old piston. Victor said he could take it. Thomas went straight to Hero. His driver and fireman went to fix on the new part. Can you place the new part on Hero? Fix. Weld. Great work. Percy kindly agreed to do some of Thomas's work so Thomas could find some more parts for Hero. Percy knew that he had to be very careful not to let Spencer find out about Hero or he would try to get him scrapped. Help Percy to deliver Thomas's trucks. Go! 
go! Dear, Percy popped a valve while pulling Thomas's heavy load. Thomas helped him back to the steamworks. Now Percy needed a new part too. Can you find the parts to fix Percy? Three, two, one, go! Not this time. work. Percy was soon fixed and Thomas told Victor about Hero. Victor told them he had more parts they could use if only they could carry them to his hiding place. The fat controller was puzzled why the engines were carrying the wrong trucks but as long as the work was done he didn't mind. Percy was right to worry about Spencer. He knew Thomas was up to something and started watching his every move. Thomas couldn't visit Hero without Spencer noticing. But he had an idea. He could ask Percy to take the next part to Hero. But first, they both had to race away from Spencer so he wouldn't hear their plan. Can you help Percy go really fast? Percy collected the part and took it to Hero. He was amazed by the old engine. Hero was very pleased to meet Thomas's best friend. Can you place the new part on Hero? Fix. Weld. Fantastic! Spencer tried to find out what Thomas was up to by asking Emily, but she wouldn't speak to him until she'd finished her shunting. Move Emily so the truck rolls to a stop in the right place. Shunt. While Spencer was distracted, Thomas collected the next part for Hero. Suddenly, Spencer appeared nearby. Luckily, Mavis saw him first and distracted him with a game. Three, two, one, go! Not quite. Snap! 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 
snap. 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 Great work. After the game, Mavis took Spencer on a tour of the quarry. It was a very dirty place. Slate and dust flew down his funnel and bounced off his boiler. He was so messy. He had to return to the steamworks to get fixed, and Thomas and Percy could spend the rest of the day helping Hero.